I started the build of this cruiser around the rotor mast and the fuselage structure. This is where everything is built off of and used as the main datum to make sure that everything is aligned and straight. Of course it's uh, the main structural part of the fuselage as well so it needs to be made properly. Fuselage is quite floppy during the build so I spent quite a lot of time making sure that it was square during the building process. It isn't really until you get the covering on that it really starts to uh, stiffen up. Get yourselves one of those little level boxes. They're really useful at making sure that everything stays aligned during the build process. There's the tail being mocked up. There's a overall structure so far. I built the spats together. It made them uh, exactly the same shape. I uh, used uh, some hardwood dowels which are then drilled through to put the axle into. Gives, uh, gives a bit more load bearing for that. There's the undercarriage wire being formed and checked out. I just clamped it onto the front of the fuselage to see what it looked like. And uh, there's the spats again. <coughs> Glue the undercarriage in and uh, there's some brass plates which I made up and soldered onto the undercarriage. And I use that with a couple of small screws just to hold the spat onto the uh, onto the leg. There's a curved fuselage going on the bottom, and uh, there's the firewall being glued on with the undercarriage installed there. You see the structure is coming along quite well now. Most of the main structure is done, and the motor being put on the front and getting it aligned correctly. Making up the nose cone, several laminations of quarter balsa, and. Uh, Trying to keep the weight as light as possible. Here's the plug for the canopy. Just lots of bits of rough balsa being glued together and then uh, rough it out. You see, it's quite a bit of material to remove and uh, slowly coming down, trying to not damage the fuselage at the same time. When you get a pretty good profile, you can see it's. Uh, fits quite nicely and then I uh, had several bottles had four attempts and uh, ended up being uh, the 7-up bottle which uh, won the competition to be on the model covering going on there <clears throat> pretty much model is ready just a bit of trimming and getting it set up and gluing on the tailplane there we are this is ready for the first flight Enjoy the film. Okay guys, here goes the maiden. Well, seems quite stable. It's pulling a little bit to the right. Well, it's rolling to the right. <clears throat> so I have to trim that out afterwards, I think. But it seems like it's in quite good balance. Two 
too much wind maybe probably blowing about seven knots maybe seven maybe eight knots in the gusts it's nice and stable okay that's five minutes coming up 1300 pack so I'm going to The all-up weight of my model came out at 485 grams, 24 ounces. Flew really well. This was a five minute flight, used 430 milliamp hour on the battery, so you could probably easily get an eight minute flight out of it. Stable, keep it close, it's a small model, you will lose orientation, but an excellent design by Chris Harris. Hope you enjoyed it and thank you for watching.